Another thing we can try related to how Wardell's work looks is the following. I'm going to come down to just the text here, and I'm going to make a duplicate of it. I'll leave the original alone, and then this one, I'm going to make it pixels. I'm going to rasterize it, rasterize, type, and you'll see that that text icon is gone, and it looks like our other layer here of the pixels in terms of the preview. It is um, representing it as an image. This is no longer editable type. So if I come through here, and I'm going to get really picky, and with the magic wand, I'm going to get rid of this little tiny black area here and here. I do want this one. Paint bucket tool, default colors, press X. I want to fill with white, fill with white. I'll invert that magic wand. Select the white area and say bye-bye to that. Deselect. Coming down to the, the third line of text here. Adding to the selection, I'll grab that little bit of the curve of the S with the magic wand tool. Just the connected pieces. Try it this way. Magnetic lasso tool, add to selection. This is all I want. Paint bucket tool, add white to all the negative spaces. Invert this, the colors, select inverse. Sorry, Command I. Then with the magic wand, I grab the white areas and delete those. Last time, bottom region. Add to selection, magnetic lasso tool. I'll grab this extra arc of the O, close it out, paint bucket tool, fill the negative spaces with white, command I, invert the selection, deselect magic wand tool, select all the white areas and delete them. Get rid of the selection, zoom out. We missed a little something here. Boop. Gone. Now, turning on the background, turning on the pencils. And when we option click between the two layers, we get an alternation of the positive of the letters and the negative layers alternating. Let's turn on that hue saturation to differentiate a little bit more. And again, it becomes a little bit more challenging to read like Wardell's work. Again, this top part is probably the least interesting to me because of the just big um, three divisions that that letter I alone takes. So design-wise, we see that something like this is something that you would want to address uh, very early on. Um, but otherwise, these other things, I hope, really help you to see how you can create something in the style or manner of Joseph Wardell.